father is the house boys. It doesn't look like anybody's home. I'd love to get the name of his mechanic. With a car like that, he's bound to have a good one, and after tonight, he's gonna need some repairs. Lori. Lori! Hey, breaking in that array. So, Griswold tried to kill us. We're even. You coming? No! You can't do that! Watch me. manager from Schönheit Gesellschaft and I'm leaving this message to confirm that I will be meeting your flight when you arrive here on the 19th as per your fax. I wish you a safe journey. Goodbye. Schönheit means beauty. Gesellschaft means corporation. I know that. Griswold is meeting with someone from a Swiss cosmetic firm. Maybe he's got something to sell. What do you think? myself on my coffee. Can I take your coat for you? No, I won't be staring long. I, I take it black. A purist after my own heart. So what can I do for you, Mr. Mason? Tell me about the argument you and Alana Westbrook had the night of her party. I wouldn't really call it an argument. No? I understood she looked very angry. Well, an executive assistant either learns to take his boss's heat or he finds another job. But your relationship went far beyond work, didn't it? What do you mean? My friends have been doing a little research on your standard of living. The rent on this apartment alone is more than your monthly salary. I have investments. Mr. Collins, both your rent and the lease on your car have been paid by checks drawn on one of Alana's private accounts. So what's your point, Mr. Mason? That I'm a kept man? That Alana and I were lovers? More or less? Well, you're right. So what does that prove? That gives me a motive to want her alive, not dead. Yes, she paid for my rent, my car, my clothes. But now that she's dead, that's all over. Did you know you were extremely well provided for in her will? I don't have to answer that question, Mr. Mason. You don't have me on the stand yet. Oh. But I will, Mr. Collins. I will. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How can I help you? Looking for a Jaguar Mark II sedan, early 60s. Want to buy a classic Jag, do you? Come to the right place here. Actually, I'm looking for one in particular, a dented left front fender, a wing, you'd call it. Mind if I take a look through your service base? Wouldn't be one of them insurance blokes, would you? No, I'm an attorney. I'm working on a murder case. Name's Melansky. So? So, I can get a court order to look through your books and your service base. But why make things difficult on both of us? Bloody lawyers. Come on. Hey, huh? Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, that's it. Who's it belong to? Oh, come on, mate. There's a limit. I've got to respect the confidence of my customers. I can understand that. Mr. Griswold wants to keep this under wraps, doesn't he? If you know everything already, why ask me? Bloody lawyers. Bloody hell. Next thing you know, you want to see my bleeding green card. Mr. Mason. Barbara Fox. Uh, my secretary told me you were waiting. I, I've been expecting a visit from you. Really? Well, ever since the head of accounting told me your Della Street was trying to get a look at the company books. 
You had the book sealed, Miss Fox. I was hoping I could persuade you to change your mind. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, but the company's financial records are strictly confidential. But now that Alana's dead, you must control the company funds. That's correct. Big responsibility. I can handle it. For the time being. Eventually, of course, uh, there'll be an audit. With the books closed, people could imagine you might be trying to hide something. Mr. Mason, the books are in order. Uh, I'm relieved to hear that, Ms. Fox. This is a subpoena deuces taken. It requires you to be in court tomorrow morning. It also requires your books to be there. Wait a second, we need to talk. What's the problem now? You know, I've worked with a lot of PIs before, but I've never worked with one as criminal as you. So far, I've seen you lie, extort, break, and enter. I can't work that way. Well, I can. Lauren, I need to make sure that the evidence sticks in court, OK? OK. Good. Wait here. Mr. Griswold, I need to ask you a few questions. Well, we're very aggressive, aren't we? Do I know you? My name's Molanski. I work with Perry Mason. I just chatted with Mr. Mason yesterday. Where were you last night? Mr. Uh... Molanski. Uh, this isn't a very good day for me. Could we do this another time? That was good. Well, not for me. Well, in that case, maybe you can find time in your busy schedule to see us in court tomorrow. Also, das weiß ich. Herr Messen wird Sie im Sommer, wenn er in Holland im Haag ist, anrufen. <lacht> ja, ja. Dankeschön, Herr Direktor. Auf Wiedersehen. Carl Schlusner says I need to work on my accent. Anyway, Griswold faxed him there yesterday, saying he was coming into Zurich next week in order to discuss a significant business proposition involving a new product. Unfortunately, Griswold wasn't any more specific than that. His travel agency said that Griswold faxed them two days ago, requesting a one-way ticket to Zurich on the 18th. He contacted both of them by fax. Mm -hmm. What's the problem? Well, I'd feel better if he'd spoken to them. Anyone could have sent those faxes. To implicate Griswold. Perry, he tried to kill us last night. That proves he's our man. Does it? 